Welcome back everybody to Fire and Lemon. In today's video, we're gonna do all the prep work behind the walls or in the walls for all the electrical, the water, and prep for the gas. Lots of work to do. Stick around. In last week's video, you saw me install the uh, skylight. Got that all in. Over the week, I also got uh, my roofing guy in. He did all the shingle work. I finished off all the flashing. It's all buttoned up. It's waterproof. Check off that list. Next, we, uh, but the problem is it's still cold in here, but before I can get insulation done, I need to do all the work behind the insulation. So I need to run all my wires. I need to make sure wherever I need water, it's there. And also I need to prepare for a gas line because I'm going with gas for my stove. Yeah, lots of work, ambitious. If I get a chance, I'll start putting insulation in. I don't know, that might be a stretch. But let's see, let's go. Okay, so after some calculations, I realized I need to have a plug right here. So I'm going to take this out. I kind of had to redo this wall anyways. So I'm gonna take this out and then figure something out. So I guess I better pick, take that plug out too. Look at that, old ceiling. <laughs> All right. This is two. Okay, that's that. Now take this framing out. I 
I just want to show you guys. So I had to do a little bit more work. Um, I had to pull this out. I thought I'd just put in a, a new wall, but this was actually a little more detailed than I was hoping. But uh, I got that in. So now I'm all flat and flush with the uh, main wall. So that's pretty much in front of where the fridge is going to go. So unfortunately, I'm going to have a dead spot back there, but... I don't really have much choice. If you look on the other side, there's another wall right in the middle here. So I can't really do much with with that little bit of space. So that's just going to be hidden. That's okay. It's a secret hiding spot. Too bad I couldn't make it like a, uh, what do you call those things where you freak out and you hide? <laughs> those, ah, uh, geez, I forget what they call those. But anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, so just a quick, I've got uh, showing some drawings uh what i'm gonna do here i've stuck up where my uh my uh power is gonna all go that one's gonna stay there but just move down a little bit i've got to move down my hydro uh i gotta bring in gas and water for my stove yes water it's a fancy schmancy stove it's a dual fuel and it takes water too um, I'm going to have my main switches here, going to have another switch here, plug, plug, i got to uh, run some power down here, so I'm going to have under the counter lighting with uh, low voltage, so I'm going to have to run the low voltage elsewhere, but the switch for it will be over there, plug for my dish of wash and countertop, and just another one for my microwave, another countertop. Okay, um, I think that's it. I'm, I've cleaned up, I've got rid of all. I've spent countless hours downstairs um, <laughs> cleaning up this rat nest of a wiring down there. So I spent a lot of time down there. I didn't think you guys would want to see all that, just tracing where all these wires go to. Um, it was uh, well worth it though. Cleaned it up a lot. I feel much better. Uh, there's no loose ends down there. So I have a clean slate up here. Uh, I'm ready to run all my new wires. Uh, I want to make sure that I have clean power so that if I'm running the dishwasher and the kettle at the same time, I don't pop a fuse. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I'm anxious to get, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm anxious to get this skylight all buttoned up too. It's going to be so nice. Uh, it's a gray day out this morning, but or today, but uh, it's bright in here with this light or the skylight. I love it. Okay, well, uh, my next step is just to start running some wire, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, there we go. Up comes our power. We're going to run our hood and our under our sink light from this line. The under the counter. I'm going to bring power up over there and just run the cable over here for the switch. So first thing, got to drill a bunch of holes, bring my power up, let's do that. Okay, come up there. do is for my switch I'll come down the counters that way my sink light got to go up and over my hood's got to go up and over
Now, I need to come up there. I need to do my two. One, two. And I need to go back that way to do... So that one's gonna go this way. I come up, I'm gonna go through. There and there. Okay, so for these pot lights, I'm just gonna leave a little loop here because I only have two pot lights. So, and they're in series. So I just need a little bit here and a little bit here. That's probably too much. But hey, I'd rather have a little too much then not enough. Okay, so that's pot light one, pot light two. All right. And my scissors. So, here somewhere. Okay, now I need to run my light for my kitchen sink light. Oh boy. Sorry for the view of the rafters.
Hey. Hood under the counter. Now I need the sink. And this one, I'm not quite sure I'll be able to get through here. So, I may have to plan a different way. But, let's see if I can get my fish through here. No. I'm thinking I'm not gonna have much luck. Not sure if I can get around this corner. Let's try. Okay, so this is just gonna be the switch. The current running for the switch. There's no power, so to speak. The power's gonna come in from down there. So, let's get this up and running. Next, switches. Not sure. I'll run up here and I'll go through. I'm not sure I can do this though. coffee's done and I'm done I think it's time for cocktail hour all right I'm gonna call it a wrap it doesn't look like I got a lot done but I sure did you know there's a fair amount of video that I didn't take like rebuilding this wall um, I had a lot of cleanup of wiring in the basement uh, I didn't think you guys wanted to watch that if you did leave some comments down below I'll make sure I include it next time I did take out the rest of all of the insulation above us I am getting ready to uh, close it in but I just need one more run for my ceiling pot lights I've got everything else done I've got my pot lights for my hood um, I've got my light over my sink ready my main switches I've got my over the counter switches uh, my dishwasher, my microwave, under the counter. The only thing I'm missing over here is uh, I got to finish my stove. I got to bring in my power, my gas, and my water, my power for my hood, and a countertop in my fridge. Still a lot of work. 
But you know what? It's been a great weekend. Uh, a lot of work. I, I, I really enjoy this stuff. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Do you know if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, now would be a great time to do that. Click the subscribe button below. Don't forget the thumbs up. Share us with some friends on social media. We love the, uh, you know, some, rec not recognition, but we'd love to uh, get some more attention from others. Um, yeah. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch our videos. I know everybody's lives are very busy these days. And uh, Christmas is coming, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, actually, this video might be right after Christmas, so I hope everyone had a good Christmas. Okay? Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.